friends, welcome to my channel, Masak with me. Masak means cook in my Malaysian language. Today we'll be preparing freshwater shrimp, shrimp with coconut milk. And to process this all, we have to have these ingredients and which is shallots, garlic, you have your turmeric, lemongrass, lime, turmeric leaves, which are optional. And in case you're wondering if you've never seen these, these are the uh, sample. So this is what the ginger looks like. Garlic, shallots, you do need chili, either large chilies or small chilies is fine. And then you have the, uh, uh, the uh, turmeric. Turmeric, you do have to get the skin out and get the skin out from the uh, ginger. And that's how I did it here. You can use a spoon to scrape it off or you can just slice it with a knife. And the same way I did for the ginger is also get using a spoon to get the skin out and then just cut it in chunks like this. So preparing this will be cutting it in chunks because all the ingredients will be blended. So these ingredients that we have, ginger, turmeric, garlic, shallots, and chili, will be blended in your blender. And then also I have anchovies. What I did with them first was I soaked them with water to get the salt out a little bit. And then you're gonna put them in here. After you rinse them out, put in your blender and you're gonna blend all of these ingredients. And I'll show you how. We start off by blending. So I'd like for it to look like this. Not too much pasty, but more so your ingredients can be, you know, more seen in this uh, super broth that you make with the coconut milk. Next you will need two ounces of oil. I like canola oil, but you can use vegetable oil or um, olive oil, whichever you prefer. Make sure all of it's in there. Make sure your oil gets hot first. And all these ingredients that I mentioned, these can be found at your local grocery store. I use HEB. Um, it's easy to find these ingredients and the freshwater prawn every so often in season you can find them as well large shrimp or jumbo shrimp whichever and we have the uh, cucumbers sliced up from our garden and these lemongrass can be found in HEB as well if you have HEB nearby or possibly local grocers but if not try Amazon they do have it as well so next we will stir in our blended ingredients here I like my meal slightly spicy so what I did I used three chilies Thai chilies which are those are the small ones and the big red jalapeno if you cannot find red jalapeno, you can use green jalapeno. If you don't like spicy, don't use them at all. It'll be just fine. And it goes. And what you want to do is Basically, you want your onions and your garlic to be really toasty. You'll see the colors come out with the uh, turmeric. They'll turn it orangey-like. 
your hands will turn orange when you slice the turmeric. And let it saute for maybe about five minutes. And then we'll add the coconut milk. All right, so after it looks a little toasty, your garlic are a little toasty here. And that's how I like it. I like it a little toasty. And make sure your heat is on medium heat because it needs to fry this for five minutes a little, or saute it for five minutes. Next will be your coconut milk. So each coconut milk, it's 500 milli, milli, milligram, and I would say if you have cans, you can use two cans. And you let it simmer on medium heat. Now your sauce will turn yellow because of the turmeric. Bring it to a, a slow boil. So while we're waiting for that to simmer, we'll bring it to a boil. This is how I usually just trim off these excess that you don't need, the legs from the uh, freshwater shrimp, freshwater prawn actually. So I'll just cut these up. It's as simple as that. Okay. Now you don't have to use, if you cannot find your freshwater prawns, you can use lobster, you can use your jumbo shrimp. You can also use fish for this recipe. And there we have it. And the freshwater prawn, they have these blue legs. They have great flavor in these may not get much meat but they do have meat and you'll just next while well, since it's already boiling this is how we want it to look it's a little thick and later on we will add maybe half a cup of water but not quite yet I'll just keep stirring it so we won't but that's how we want it to simmer and boil slight boil now it's time to bruise your lemongrass and I usually just them like that it's already washed and peeled just dump them in and let it continue to boil and this is when I add half a cup of water the consistency of this one would be to be too thick. So that looks perfect actually. Just half a cup of water. And continue to let it boil. And next we'll put in the uh, freshwater prawn. Next, after it boils like this, when it simmers, just slightly simmer, and we're gonna add the freshwater prawns. They don't take but maybe five minutes to 10 minutes to cook as soon as they change color. And 
And as for your jumbo shrimp, it's an option. You can dehead them and then also clean it. So we'll put the rest of that in here. And the shrimps also won't take long to cook. Make sure they get in the sauce. And notice how the sauce has turned yellow because of the turmeric. Okay. Let it do its job. Put the lid on it. And let it simmer. So now let's check on things. Let's see. Looks like they're ready. So when they're almost all the way cooked like this, that's when I'll add the last ingredient, the cucumbers. But before you add the cucumbers, squeeze some lime in there. I pretty much slice about maybe two limes. So that's how many we may need. The lemongrass does give it a lime flavor as well, pretty much, or a lemon flavor. But this would enhance it a little bit more. So about two limes, stir it up. Lastly, you do not want to overcook your cucumber, so you add it as the last vegetable. So it'll be a halfway cooked the cucumber, so it'll be a little crispy still. That's your vegetable in your meal. And that's all you want to just tap it in there until it almost reaches the sauce. Now you want to add your salt and pepper. I'd say not too much. Salt. Some black pepper. Just about that much. I like my black pepper a little coarse. Of course it's up to you. And then my last seasoning will be MSG. I would only use a teaspoon of it for this portion take this off to make it easier for me. You will find this MSG in a lot of Asian cooking. That's all you need is just half a teaspoon. And I'll, I don't typically use MSG in all my cookings, only for the Asian cookings. stir as best as you can and of course taste it to see if the salt is to your liking and last but not least and this is also optional which is the turmeric leaves this may not be easy to find. I grow them so they're fresh and organic. And this is basically your, just an extra flavor that I like to have. So basically you'll have the anchovies that are optional, the turmeric leaves that are optional as well meaning you don't necessarily have to have it. It'll be just fine if you don't have it. It'll taste the same. Or just as good as, I, should I say. And that's 
have a taste to see if there's enough salt. Very good. And that is it. Well, here you have it, guys. This meal is served with jasmine rice, or you can have basmati rice. Basmati rice is a good rice for, um, you know, if you want to manage your gluten-free. So, because basmati is gluten-free rice, but the jasmine has a little bit, you know, it's not gluten-free. But I prefer jasmine with this. Um, just a little, much more, I say, flavor with that and aroma. And, um, and you can also garnish this with shallots if you uh, not shallots but green onions if you do not have the uh, turmeric um, turmeric leaves and if you don't like cucumbers find broccoli or asparagus so these are things that vegetables that you can swap out and choose to have um, as a vegetable in it or without vegetables so this is how we have our uh, fresh water prawn with coconut milk and rice if you like the video, hit the bell, like, and subscribe. Until next time.